All right, guys. Uh, I don't know if, you know, you've really seen any good videos on how to do an AN line. But there is uh, a right way and a wrong way. So with the regular hose um, that you get that does not have a, a stainless steel reinforcement, um, you can usually just clip them. You know, you just kind of cut them with dikes and, and you're okay. So um, when there is a hose uh, that has the, the, as you can see, the little shiny areas, those are the stainless steel reinforcements and then nylon coating, right? Um, those you have to cut with a actual side cutter, you know, and uh, it does a really good job. It does a really good job. This one's, you know, cut with that and it kind of melts and uh, melts the ends and then I'll get in there. I'll get in here with my nice little, nice, super sharp dikes and I'll trim that off. But I also like to melt the end. I'll show you. With stainless steel braided, you can't do this with it. You just got to be quick. You got to cut it and then start putting your end on it. And you got to have a fingernail, uh, enough of a fingernail to shove that piece in. You know, stainless steel braided, oh, sometimes it hurts. So I just wanted to show you what I'll do. Is I'll just barely melt the end. It's not too hot to touch if you got man thumbs. But just barely melt the end so it kind of cauterizes it and melts it together. You're not going to see that. It's going inside the fitting. So, once you get that done, then um, I'll show you. I'm going to do my length real quick. So, so far on the hater thing, I've got quite a few of my lines done. I didn't want to do a big long video about all the lines getting done and stuff. So, what we're trying to do here is we are literally trying to let me get you in a little bit further. I'll do this. What we're trying to do is that fitting right there as you can see has nothing going to it right here so this fitting i'm going to i got it just kind of sitting on there that is going to go over here to my fuel pressure regulator so what i want to do is mock up my length how i want it from right there figure it goes in about yay far on a fitting i'll give you a close-up when it goes into these fittings, it only goes in that far. That's as far as you get. So you want to figure that far in. So and when you put these eighth inch NPT fittings in, usually I like to use a little bit of silicone on the threads. Uh, this one does have some uh, Teflon. So I just switched over the silicone because you can see the Teflon. I'm not to wipe that off. I'd rather trying to have a kind of a black engine bay. But anyway, coming over and I'm going to I'm going to have a couple of uh, the special clamps that they make for these situations. But so that's going to be right there. I'm not going to worry about it too much. And then I'm going to right about there okay so i've got my my length right all right let's let me show you so now that i've got my length i'll take my silver sharpie get a little shot down on there so i can see it obviously black hose can't see black markers. So these you can buy off of Summit. All they are is they're kind of a, they are a holder. What they do is you, you hold these things in just like that. So when you're doing the fitting, okay? So what I like to do, and as you can see, they got them on the side too. So what I like to do is I will take the hose and I'll stick it right in here like so, clamp down on it. The 6 a.m. and the 10 a.m. and all that clamp down, this moves around. So, and then just. <laughs> take it nice and slow. Want a good clean shaved end. Get in here with 
with a nice set of sharp dikes. Trim off your excess nylon. You know, whatever you can. You need a really good set of sharp dikes. They don't need to be tiny like mine. But now, I'm going to. You very lightly want to do that. Don't go crazy. So, on these fittings, if you get different hose, if you're getting different hose for the, you know, this is vibrant, these are vibrant fittings. Um, if you're getting different fittings for different hose, sometimes you got, you struggle a little bit. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. But, what I do, jam that bad boy in there. As you can see, once you get it on there, boom, all that disappears. Sometimes you'll have to come over here and you have to slam it down like so. Don't want to forget to blow the hose out because you get all that little Okay. It's all blown out. Don't got a little, you know, particulates in there that can get sucked into the motor or cause any kind of issues. But Open that up. Now I like to try to kind of flush this fitting up a little bit. And then, some silicone lubricant. Put it right here on the very tip. Doesn't have to be on the threads, just on the tip of that. And then, thread this bad boy in there. I do recommend getting one of these, even though these things are kind of cheesy. As you can tell, they're made out of aluminum too, and they mar up themselves more than they do your fitting. If you use regular um, wrenches and so forth, this will mar up this fitting and you'll see it. Don't want to do that. So, do your best to get it on there, and then just hold your hose so it doesn't want to slide out the bottom, and then you just work this thing in now the reason why I flush this thing up right here is because this end right here will hit that fitting and freaking mar it all up I mean it, it if you're trying to keep your fittings good and nice you know to where you don't see you know the the exposed aluminum on your anodized black fittings you do your best to not mar it up and trust me, regular channel locks, um, adjustable jaw, I mean, all of these, the regular uh, versions of these, they will mess these fittings up. So. You want to check inside here to make sure that that hose is just almost to the bottom of those threads. They don't have to be flush and you don't want the hose up here past the threads. It will kick your butt if you do that. So, a little lube on the end there. And you can put it on there like this before you set it in there. Like I said, the actual hose fitting part, flush it up with this. Bad boy in there ways. Okay. And here we go. Boom. There you go. Look at that. And where, where you can see it kind of is taking off some of the anodizing and stuff where it is. But that is minimal compared to what your other regular metal wrenches will do to these, these fittings. So, so that is pretty much um, it. Here's your fitting. You know? So uh, um, I do like, um, sometimes they leak though. When you're doing your vacuum lines and stuff like boost lines and whatnot, these things do tend to leak. So... If you end up getting one leaking, sometimes you got to cycle through a fitting or two until they do not leak, or you got to tighten them up. Or I've even gone as far as taking some like Teflon, the little gooey Teflon, 
and putting it on the actual uh, cup of the, the, the male version that slides in here to kind of take up that area. So, I mean, it's worked, but it gums up your fitting after a while and makes this thing hard to spin. So, that is uh, that. Well, and that wraps up this episode here at Snellfed Performance. We appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. Hopefully you give us a like and subscribe for future updates on Mark's Evo, as well as other projects we have down the line. Have a great day and thanks for coming by.